afraid to pursue their most important dreams because they feel that they don't deserve them or that they'll be unable to achieve them. We, their hearts, become fearful just thinking of loved ones who go away forever or of moments that could have been good but weren't or of treasures that might have been found but were forever hidden in the sand. Dirty more say the prophet's name won't teach the same universal lessons keep you slave chains on your brain. Wanting Moorish presidents when that's the prophet. If he was around, most grand chief's heads he'll off it. Guilty by association, off your head too for riding with dirty moors that made a mockery of Drew Ali. Dirty moors from Canaan land to Cali used to be El Bay, now they claim Ali. Keep thinking that they're for you, but get ignored. Given lessons in pieces like a jigsaw, leave you puzzled. Your third eye muzzled, mind smuggled. Know how to say the right thing, keep lies subtle. Really win with truth bait, lion eyes and truth face. Ego moors make you carry their suitcase or hold their umbrella. He walks like a fruitcake, prophet watching from the soul plane. The route you take Whose prince will you step in? Demons or genuines? MSTA members or Moorish Americans? Ninety plus years running a fraud That's why you Know every prophet and Ali but not Drew Keeping you away, they have a deep dirty more crew causing confusion. This dirty more crew will tell you partial to have chains on your brain when it should be parcel. A free national name, Drew Ali, got revenge by Moore's eyes wide open. Not Maurice, the world eyes wide open. For her could make those lips clap. Using Frank, Gary, brother, Larry, journalist traps. Homoerotic, stray cat, Moors, dissing the mothers Putting blame on active Moors for current gains and others Fake profits, heads on the coin And pictures next to the noble Today the treasury balance is zero the total Study, study, study when you're finished, study yourself Dirty Moors judge your attire and judge your bookshelf Study, study, study when you're fit to study the lower When you study no trance by Moorish hymn composers Study, study, study when you're finished, study the higher Dirty Moors cook out death smell from Oscar Mayer Study, study, study when you're finished, it's never finished Dirty Moors selling status correction clinics 500 per class pass I'd rather watch Taj and have a clear perspective on the Moorish path Faculty and student, Moorish heritage history school Don't endanger your life with a fool You sat down and you attacked the master teacher because you thought you heard something that you didn't hear. That's the first violation. You don't you don't come in. First of all, you come in and you act like you come in peace. But you don't. You got an agenda. Wars of men upright, independent and fearless. Dogmatized, dirty moors, tongues cut out, left earless. Cause they never listen. Dirty moors, keep up your slander. Wu Tang torture in your ass, hot hangers. Kidnap a dirty moor, torture him like saw. 3D, 0.5 or 1 through 4. Or get it like 5 or 6 with a fez on jigsaw. Leather face in a turban, rip dirty moors, lips off. Disrespecting the mother, Raz Mariah Bay. Wrap him up like double crochet, the barbed wire away. Throw him off a bridge or feed him to the piranhas. Yellow journalists more spread nothing but propaganda. Idi Amin Bay, treat the temple like Uganda. Dirty moors like foreigners crush the dust like ganja. Not worthy of being moors, we call them dirty in the Hesus. Solomon Seal spell command 72 demons to get you. This is what the temple guys actually said. That Canaan land is not a part of North America. Canaan land is bigger. Yo, it's ignorant, man. I mean, come on, you're talking about the same landmass. Canaan land is actually bigger than the, the landmass they know as they know the corporate United States. Almost twice as big. And if they had any sense, they could just go to Google and they can type in North America and find out North America goes all the way up to Greenland. But they're ignorant. They don't want to do that. You might hear hoarse voices, see frog faces, and who's for feet. Demons who run with spit fire with gold wolf teeth. Keep playing, forget back teeth. New moors are an issue. Get into maybe a dream visit from Vishnu, a nightmare to never end and always continue. Call as an igloo, dealing with my trust issues through vigilance. Active moors are militants. SPLC dirty moors call that sovereign citizen. Lions reviews, they notice all the empty pews. Bends need gas and fixing, but. 
but not enough dues. Pig pen bays sell you out for peanuts, claiming that we nuts for teaching birthright street level, keeping it beat nuts. To any members of the MSTA that's out there listening to what I'm saying, please get it through your head. I don't have a problem with the MSTA. I got issues with the case of Lamar. Stay surrounded by feathers. Dirt is guilty of fraud and throughout his scrutinize their ledgers. Getting proclamations from Morocco disrespect us. Corporate city only recognize people's court justice. Hand in their back, Moorish puppets and minions. Never get the human rights recognition like Moors near Virginia. Commonwealth for active Moors knowledge. The Commonwealth dirties claim more, but really on the straw man health. Authenticating a birth certificate, that's not significant. Civil little more two status syndicates in more face. Watch them two more status Indians claiming Turtle Island are lying so intricate. Long days and long nights. But this message like needed to be heard. Peace, Moors, Islam, to all the Moors worldwide. Islam to all the Moors worldwide. So you see, we got the new one up because you know you know how they do. You know how they do when you start putting that truth out on these punks, these dirty bastards out here. Playing around with people's birthright. So we're gonna go through it again. Just so people are clear that this is not some personal whatever brothers debating something. These people are fucking traitors. They're sellouts. We know they're sellouts because we've dealt with them personally to know that they're sellouts. We're not guessing. Are these people sellouts? We know that they're sellouts. It's as simple as that. Right? March 13th, 2020. Off the top. Kadim Ali Bey. Off the top. Juali said, don't name yourself Ali. Why do you have Ali in your, in your stuff? Why do you have it in there? Why? What's the purpose? Why do you have it there? First thing. Off the top. First email. Questioning these people. Second thing questioning these people. What is it? Grand Rising. Grand dot rising dot Ali at gmail.com. What is this Grand Rising BS? No one, everybody was saying Islam before Moorish Consular Court. After Moorish Consular Court, now everybody's saying all these different shit to greet Moors. Moors say Islam to each other. Moors don't say peace. Moors don't say hotep. Moors don't say any of that BS, grand rising, supreme rising. Moors don't, Moors don't talk like that. Moors say Islam, true Moors. But you people love the traitors. So you're going to follow what they do. And even though Taj Tariq Bey said, don't follow him, you jackasses still followed him into this consular court BS. Now you're confused. You don't even know what's going on. You don't even know what the hell's going on. Heads of consular court getting kidnapped in live classes and all that. And, and, and then they're paying their bond to get out. When, when they told you. They told you that, that they're going to send you some paperwork to the court. And then they're going to release you immediately because they're Moorish consular court. How come they bonded out? If they're the heads of the stuff, we're not talking about somebody over here who heard about this online or whatever. We're talking about the people who are the consulate generals. And we're still asking the question, where's Shayla Moore Bay? How come no one in the Moorish Consular Court is addressing the fact that Shayla Moore Bay sent an email to everybody in the Consular Court telling them that he's stepping down and he's giving all his stuff to the FBI? How come nobody in the Moorish Consular Court is not talking about this? Why are they avoiding this? And how come they're not telling you where Shayla Moore Bay is? Where is he? Where did he go? Why did he step down? He was the one pushing this more than anybody else. Next to Taj Tariq Bey, who wasn't even pushing it. He just mentioned Consular Courts in one of his books. And these people had the brilliant idea to start up a Moorish consular court. Just go on Canaan Land Moore's YouTube and go watch the go watch the class we did about 
all the consular courts that failed already. Before these people calling themselves consular court. Before them, there was people who were calling themselves Morris Consular Court that failed. It went nowhere. Why did it go nowhere? Because it's a fraud. That's why it went nowhere. And then you're following people who are telling you now Morris Consular Court and you're going with it? When five Morris Consular Courts before them failed? From, from Morris Consular Court in Chicago that IRS ramped down on them because they were playing all the UCC BS, kidnapped them, put them out of circulation quick fast. Why? Because they're a fraud. Because if the IRS is coming on you, you're probably a fraud. Because they're a fraud. And fraud recognizes fraud best. Nobody's asking the question, where's Shayla Moore Bay? No one. But you're going to tell me Taj said something. I don't give a shit what Taj said. Where's Shayla Moore Bay? That's what I want to know. Where's he at? And if nobody's talking, all right, then you're letting us know what's up. Because, you know, why wouldn't you tell people where he went? Oh, that's private. We don't need to do it. Private, but you're a nation. You know, find me a nation that's private out here. What private? Private what? Oh, oh, this is some little personal club stuff there. Okay, that's why you could be private. Okay, we get you. So you're a personal club stuff. You're not Moorish Consular Court. Just like all these Moorish organizations... Like House of Reawakening Minds that right now is still listed as a church. It's not listed as House of Reawakening Minds. It's still a church. So if it's still a church, and then Taj Street Bay said don't follow them, but every Friday he's doing stuff with them. But he said don't follow him, but every Friday he's doing stuff with them. Then what? What don't you get? He's sitting up there on his solar return and he's talking about great work that brother's doing in China and all that stuff for the Moors and all this stuff, you know what I mean? And then, you know, the, the, these these dick riders of Taj Tariq Bay, all of them, they were all up there riding his dick the whole time. All of them were up there riding his dick, Right? You know, there. You know what I want to do? I want to send you a Moorish American travel document. I want to send you one. So if he's going to do that for Taj Tariq Bay, but not do that for you, he's a Taj Tariq Bay dick rider. Because why wouldn't he give you a free one? They're, they're making them by the box. So why wouldn't you get a free one? Why does Taj Tariq Bay get a free one? Who is he that he gets a free one? Who is he that he gets a free one? No, it's like I was watching, been watching Shai. I just saw the Moors near Mecca. Watching Shai and this dude's trying to change his life around or whatever. So he has his food truck and all that. Gangster guy who he owes a debt to, comes up, hey, let me, you got something selling here? Let me see what you got right there. And then, like, hey, you got tacos, you know. Man takes a taco, takes a bite. Says, Whoa, this fucking taco's good. Walks away. A little time later now, line going down the street, best tacos in town. Best tacos in town. Here comes some guy butting to the front. Pushing people out the way while they're getting their stuff handed to them. Pushing them out the way. Hey man, you can't push man. What's wrong? There's a lineup. Man, we eat here for free. What do you mean there's a lineup? We eat here for free. One dude in the truck said, eat here for free? Who the F you think you niggers are? You're not eating here for free. Matter of fact, store's closed. Nobody's eating today. F all you people. Close this stuff. Why? These people are 
taking advantage. I'm trying to start my little business or whatever like that. Your 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 gang leader boss guy gets something for free, and you're gonna ride his dick to get stuff free too. The hell out of here. No, no, nobody's eating. You just messed it up for everybody. And then what's everybody going to do? Blame the, the guy who shut his stuff. Because he realized the fraud that was going on. The opportunism that was going on. The vampirism that was going on. And said, you guys aren't vampiring me. And then, and then on top of that, right? Going home, parks up the truck, and then he gets robbed by the same guys who didn't get their stuff for free. You understand the pattern that's going on here? That, and that's a TV show. Okay, TV show. Art imitates life. Okay, so if TV shows art, but you got degrees and all that stuff, visual arts and all that stuff, then... That would mean that imitates life. So that's actually not some stuff from a TV show. That's some real stuff. It's not just some TV show stuff. Because art imitates life. Art's not something on its own. Art comes from life. In life, in life, right now, 2020, there's people telling you, come to us to get this travel document. It's called Moorish American Travel Document. It's for Moorish Americans all over the world. The guys who create that travel document gave Master Teacher Taj Tariq Bey one for free. He didn't pay. We know he didn't pay for his. Whether he's using it or not, I don't know, but... They made a big deal to let the world know that we sent him his Moorish American travel document because we were on his birthday with the House of Ram and all that stuff and we were celebrating the master teacher and a present to him was we're going to give him Moorish American travel document. All right. All right. Where's mine? Where's my free one? Now, if you're going to give him a free one, then pff, Hakeem Bey needs a free one. Raz Mariah Bey needs a free one. Ali Mel Bey needs a free one. Who else? Name them. Asir, the Duke of Tears, needs a free one. You didn't even get to me yet. All of them need a free one too. How come they didn't get their free one? Or are you just dick riding Tar Taj Tariq Bay? And then you have to ask yourself, why would they dick ride so hard? Why would they dick ride so hard to send him a free one? They already got his face on their Moorish consulate website. Like, how much dick riding could you do? Oh, Toriano Obashango L should get a free one? But you know, I know Dick is a is short form for Richard. So you know, I don't know if you're say Dick Ryan. Why why is he talking like that? Dick Dick is somebody's name. Yeah. Everybody. Oh, brother Abdullah Bay should have a free one, and it should be an announcement thing. You know where all of them are lined up and all that stuff, and we're all gonna hear from them about their perspective of the Moorish Consular Court and how much of a benefit it is for the Moorish nation, right? And because it's such of a benefit, we needed to do this conference to let everybody know that we're endorsing the Moorish Consular Court and everything that they're doing because they're the ones that are going to save everybody right now. Oh, Dr. Yaffa Bay, Dr. Pleasant Bay, all of them should get a free one. As they come to your mind, just throw them out. Oh, Dr. Kaba Hiawatha Kamene, you should get a free one. He knows about Moors and all that. 
Oh, mother Annie Edel, supposed to get one? Free? Not just this one individual who's Richard you ride. Richard riders. Oh, Dr. Jose Pimenta Bay. He should get a free one. I hope you're writing down all the names so you can make sure they get their free Moorish American travel document and then have them do a video promoting it since this is what this, this whole thing is about. Right? And then how much of other names that we get and then you get to us now. So after all these people got a free one, because we're not dick riders, he said, well, we don't actually want a free one. What's your number so we can talk about, about this stuff? Before we get to the number to talk, there was email correspondence. So if there's, e oh yeah, Bobby Hemet should get a free one. Dr. Phil Valentine should get a free one. Right, as they come up, let's just, just, throw, just throw them out there. You know, and this is before us, we're not talking about any new people. We're talking about Moorish master teachers who are around right now. All the national grand sheiks and grand sheiks of every Moorish science temple ever, ev everywhere, all of them should get a free one. Because remember, they're getting these by the box. All they do is put the name on it and that's it. Everybody's getting the same thing. There ain't no, ain't no different. Right? So they send their little email breaking down the whole meaning of the seal, Matt D features, hologram protected, and Moorish American mantra, and all this. What the, what the hell is a Moorish American mantra? What is that? What is that? I know Moorish American prayer. I know what that is. This is Moorish American mantra. Now, the dumbass didn't even look up the etymology and he didn't even look up the metaphysical meaning of prayer to know that Nobujuali is a mastermind. He's not a dummy. He knew everything that he was doing. That's why he wrote it down. How he did. You know, Taj Tariq Bey said prayer comes from praying on a like a vampire like a jackal and then you're praying so you don't pray you affirm. Well, since the master teacher says that, then we're going to say we have a Moorish American mantra, not a Moorish American prayer, violating the prophet. Violating the prophet. Because you don't get why he said prayer. You're not going to call it Moorish American prayer. You're going to make up some stuff. Please. Remember, this is March 13th, 2020. Matt D came into fruition last year at the beginning of the summer. Noble Sharif Nine Feathers Bay, which is not in lowercase, it's capitalized, since they like to teach right now that it is in lowercase. And if you write in capitalized, you're denationalizing yourself. Noble Nine Noble Sharif Nine Feathers Bay wanted to create a document which will enable Moors to travel the international seas and airways without having to rely on any corporate instruments produced by various corporations acting at North America. This document is equipped with the treaties needed to support our freedom of travel unmolested. There are Moors who have already used the MATD to travel. internationally and myself as well used it to travel around China a maxim without any issues what China a maxim are you talking about what is that where is that on the map China a maxim where is that Where is that? Where's China and Mexico? 
the yeah, grand sheik naker nature she gets nika yep all of them should get a free one Jonathan Bay, you should get a free one. All right, we're talking about elders who put in work. That should get a free one. Actual. We're talking about over 20 years of Moorish knowledge and teaching. That's what qualifies them. Whoever has that should get a free one. This document is equipped with the treaties needed to support our freedom of travel unmolested. Now, if nationality card says Elodio American National, that already puts you in the jurisdiction that these people, you're not in theirs. Anybody who could read, automatically they know. That you're dealing with a national, which means you're dealing with somebody from a nation. And if you're dealing with somebody from a nation, and you're not part of their nation, you don't have jurisdiction. Especially if you're in the, in the nation of the individual who's showing you the identification. Obviously, you're a colonizer. Noble Nine, Noble Sharif Nine Feathers Bay, also a commissioned consul, is the imperial ambassador, post head consul for Northeast Asia, China, and he is the one who manufactures and produces the MACD. Now, if he's a commissioned consul, if he's a commissioned consul, how come nobody's asking him where's Shayla Moore Bay? Because the only thing he could be a commissioned consul of is the Moorish American Consular Court. Can't be commissioner of anything else. Can't be imperial ambassador of anything else. Because all those made up titles are fiction. The only title is your El Bay de Al and Ali. This is what was taught by the master teachers. 2008. The title's not the title you get. You got voted into something and now you have a title and a chair and all that stuff. You think you're the man. That's not the title. The title's El Bay de Al Ali. Anybody who has that, they got the title. Who's going to tell them that they can't do something when they got the title? Well, Supreme Grand, whoever says that you can't, how? What's his title? Supreme Grand, what? No, it's not. His title's El Bay de Al Ali. No superior thing than you're better than somebody. Trying to disrespect Moors who've been using nationality cards for the past how much ever years. Oh, well, you're creating some travel document for Moors. Like you're doing something for Moors. If it was for Moors, you'd be giving them away free because you get them by the box. If you get them by the box, then that means you should be giving them away for free. Not selling them for 160. Much less 70 is how much you charged us. How come everybody's not getting 70 if you're not giving it for free? What's the 164? You're getting the things by the box. And then they show it all there. Right now, again, right, this is this is what this is what got sent. Show us their seal that they got. Show us their flag that they got. Remember, nothing looks like what Nobujali brought yet. Right? All these things going through my mind as I'm going through the email. They got their document there with the tassel on it and then I'm immediately I'm like why isn't the yellow green 
Like why why would it be why would it be yellow on red? Why would it be yellow on red? What does yellow on red have to do with Mars? Like why why isn't it red on green? Why is it not red on green? How could you make a travel document for Mars? You got blue, white, and all this stuff, and you don't do a red on green? You're a traitor. We see you people. Trying to rape the Moors in America all the way from China. You're not going to rape the Moors of America. Go rape the Chinese Moors. You're not going to rape us. Because we're putting in work here and then we can't get anything because all you foreigners are trying to steal the birthright. Disrespecting Moors who've been putting in work. Been had nationality cards. Been on planes across the planet already. Been done that. Now you're creating, you're recreating a, 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 a rectangle wheel and everybody's right, run into it. And then the master teacher is sitting there with you. Yeah, you know what I mean? The rectangle wheel car, you know, we're going we're gonna to go places with this thing. And you're taking this serious? You're really taking this serious? This is the master teacher we're talking about. S sitting next to a car with a four, four wheels on it that's square. Square wheels. And then you saw them lift it off of the tow truck. Because it's not going to roll. You saw them lift it off the tow truck. And you're, then you're coming with your, with your 100 to, to, to go ride because the master teacher said the square wheel car is, is the new car for the Moors. And you really took the keys and jumped in on a square wheel car. They didn't have the audacity to make the, the first one ever. They didn't even make it red and green. They made it red and yellow with a yellow tassel. When everybody knows that the predominant tassel is black for Moors. But you got no colored tassels as Moors. It's black tassel. And whatever color fez you want. Tassel, it's black tassel. Why? Because it comes from the indigo berry. And that's the only color you're getting from it. So it's just, and this is part of nature. They're giving you some straw tassel. Tassel made out of some fake stuff. When your tassel ties you to nature, that represents the sun going around. They had Jimi Hendrix and Bob Marley up in your up in your Moorish American travel document. And they had Martin Luther King and whoever this lady is up in there. They had Janet Jackson and Selena up in your Moorish, your Moorish American travel document. Had all these people up in it. Before the stuff that they're showing you today, remember this stuff? Remember? I'll just show you. So you can see, see the fraud. So you can see the fraud. Because it only it only helps if you can actually see it for yourself. It only helps if you can see it for yourself. Like you have to be able to you have to be able to see it. If you're not seeing it, to realize that that what the actions that they're taking, the actions that they're taking, are pre-medicated. They're gonna have whatever they're showing you right now. They used to have Janet Jackson and stuff in your stuff. 
this should do, do, all, all this stuff is the square wheel car. Now they're bringing a square wheel car to Mars. We've been in this 10 years. You're, you're bringing, bringing square wheel car to us? Like we're dumb? Like we're stupid? We're stupid people. And talk telling me about, oh, this, yeah, this is a Moorish American travel document, but it looks like a passport that everybody else has out here. And I already got one of those, and I use it, been traveling all over, and, and had no issues with it. So why would I have issues with this if it's a passport? Oh, it's Moorish because, because, because what? What makes it Moorish? What, what makes that distinctive from everybody else's stuff? Some pictures in it? Or the tassel on it, that's that's what you think makes it makes this not a passport? Oh, because it says Moorish American travel document on it. It's not a passport. That's what you're saying? Well, if you're using this to pass the port, then it's a passport. They're going to the guy who's the colonizer who said, here's a port right here. In order to go through, you have to show us some type of document to pass the port. Yeah, well, here's my Moorish American travel document. Let me see that. All right, yep, yeah, you're good to go. You just passed the port. So that's a passport. Dummy. You always want stuff advanced, like stuff is advanced. This stuff is basic. And remember, the people who say that they're giving passports, remember, they charge too. And remember, if they charge for it, they know that that's not that's not the citizenship. You're not you're not becoming a more because you have that. So people who have the idea that oh yeah, I'm gonna get a Moorish travel document that I'm gonna be a more because it comes with a card in it that says a Moorish Amer no, that's a passport, just like everybody else that charged for it. Just like they charge you for everything else that they issue. And licensing, license you under it. You don't think this is the same thing th these Moors are doing? Licensing you under their stuff? And then you're skidding down the street in, in, in a square wheel car, talking about open the sunroof and, and blast the music? That was square wheel car, guy. So March 16th, 2020, my response to them after they sent me all their stuff that they're pushing right now, like it, this is where it's at because the master teacher Taj Tariq Bey has one of these. Here's the picture of him looking at it because he has one. Here's the picture of Phil Valentine looking at it because they have one. They got theirs for free. So you have connections in China, and did they commission you to create this from Mars? How did you get in contact with them to do this passport? Is there a picture of Noble Drew Ali in the passport? All I see are unconscious Moors in it. And I know Moors that used it. I'm just seeking background info. Who you are as I have never heard of you or seen you before, and who granted your authority to make these for Mars? I am at the East Gate, China Amexum. I've personally used the MACD as well. Authority is in our blood. Don't need permission and or recognition from anyone. Islam. So why you got Taj Street Bay's face on everything? Why you got Phil Valentine's face on everything? If you don't need permission and recognition from anybody, then why are you guys on Taj Street Bay's dick? How come you're on this dick? Oh, so how come you're on this Richard? Like what? Why are you? Why are you on this Richard?
Noble Sharif Nine Feathers Bay is a vizier of Moorish American consulate. He's also a member of the Supreme Judiciary. You raise some good questions and everyone should always get background info on the person and product they are selling. We are only offering a service as there is a need for Moors to have their own documents to travel. The Europeans don't have any authority to be issuing us travel or any instruments. Some good Moors go to the extent of recontracting with them and placing their appellation on their dead corporate instruments. We are a body polit politic that got established on April 5th, 2018. We are not a tribe and welcome members to join irrespective of which tribe they affiliate with as long as they are willing to contribute in our mission, which is to garner international support as we uplift our nation. We need the support of the people to aim to bring the dry bones together. We pay honor to the prophet and those that came after him. It's a new day. Gotta move forward. Islam. Is this the same consulate that Shalemore Bay sold out to the FBI? And I know consulate Moors, and I saw the email of him selling out everyone. That is part of the consulate. That's why Jamal's was investigated. Spoke to the FBI myself. So, and you could take this however. When they got their door kicked in. When their door got kicked in. And I called up FBI. To, is there, does FBI have a problem with Morris? What'd they say? Go check the FBI papers. We made it free on the website. Which let me know that they know that they have infiltrators. Because if you're going to send me to a reference point from the 1930s, when I'm asking you about some stuff today, then you have clean hands. You already did your job. You don't have to do anything else because it's already in motion. When I say who gave you the authority, I mean, where were you in 2008 to 2017? I have never heard of you or your activity you have done. Have never heard any of my teachers mention you. For a more to just pop up like Shalemore did, make enormous claims, then turn over everything to foreigners, I am going to ask questions. I have seen this happen many times in my involvement in the Moorish movement. The sellout is real. Matters not to me which passport, because a passport is a foreigner's instrument no matter who's issuing it. And I don't and never had any issue with foreigners when I travel. I use the Canadian passport, Fezon, all rights reserved, and my nationality card, and I'm able to travel. Another question is why so many unconscious Moors in the passport when there are enough pictures of Moorish related imagery? There are enough pictures of Moorish related imagery. There's enough pictures of that. There's enough pictures of that. We know there's enough pictures of that. We know without a shadow of a doubt, there's enough pictures. So why are they using... Why are they using Negroes as the thing? Now, because 
of Kujo L questioning that. Because of me questioning that, this is what they did now. Now this is what they did. Now they switched it up. Oh, let's get the real one so you can see it. They switched it up. Took out all the Negroes. And now this is what they did with it. This is what they did now. Keep your mind, you ain't seen Mars yet. This is your travel document. Now the other part of it. Now this is this is the question with regard to okay so they have pictures of our people in it now right same thing comes up with with this is the same thing that comes up with the nationality card and how you could tell a faker you know you could tell a fake nationality card is when you ask them for a photocopy of it a black and white photocopy and you can't read anything How you, how you know a nationality card faker is that when they make a copy of it in black and white, you can't see anything. So, when you research things like this, there's certain standards that must be met and one standard is that in a passport you don't have color except the picture of the individual whose card it's supposed to represent other than that there's nothing color there's nothing color Why is it color? When the when the overseer, when the gatekeeper puts the stamp in this, anybody gonna know where you went? How, why won't they know? Because you're not gonna be able to read anything. But again, fraud always recognizes fraud. And they have people videotaping the colonizer with the uniform all and everything saying, yep, that's good to go. And you're, you're so dumb, you don't get that they work for them. That's why they recognize it. We just told you they gave all the stuff to the FBI. They didn't refute anything. No one in the Moorish Consular Court has come out since we've been talking about it because nobody else talks about it. Where's Shay Lamar Bay? And why did he give all the stuff to the FBI that he had for the Moorish Consular Court? And how come you people are doing nothing about it? And no one has said anything about it. No one has said anything. No one that's part of Moorish American Consulate has came forward and said, what Kudrow's saying is a lie. Shayla Moore Bay went on vacation. Shayla Moore Bay quit his post. Shayla Moore Bay, whatever, and give you some type of explanation. Nothing? And you're just riding with it? 
And again, you know, Mars already know this. This is for new people who think everybody in a turbulent fest is your brother and sister. And every Moorish organization is for your best interests. No, they're not. People are traitors. Right? So that was just to show you in, in 2020 when I questioned them why so many unconscious Moors in the passport and then here they come now pushing a picture book to you. Moorish picture book. And then you're excited because you're seeing pictures that you could freaking find online in this, in this travel document. In this special special document you spoke of garner international support so who supported you internationally to create the document i don't think anyone can just create a passport and it be used to travel internationally you spoke or have relations with someone so who is your international connection to create this document for example World Service Authority got their authority from D.C. Moorish Orthodox Church got their authority from Order of the Moorish Sufis and the Ahmadiyya movement. I find it hard to accept you used your own authority in China to create this document for Moors. Why are the colors on the passport the same as China Corporation, not Moorish American colors? Still needing more clarity. Islam. And that picture is suspect, as the picture doesn't say that that's Noble Juali. Plus, there are pictures of Noble Juali individually. Everyone else in it has individual pictures. Islam, let's connect on a conference call. We will better be able to apply your questions and your correspondence, da da da. What's the contact number? Went through this five-hour thing about trying to get some type of download thing because the calls can't, and then they can't make the calls, and they use some other app to chat, but that's not compatible with Canaan land and all this madness. Can't just call somebody on the phone or whatever. Right. Wasn't letting me log into whatever it was. And then we get to the conversation. And then the conversation goes, but with all these questions and stuff like that, what about, what about other Moors? Like, what about other Moors? Like, who else is back in this thing? Oh, Atashri Bey, okay, he's Okay, it's interesting you just bring him up. Right. He's the first one. First name you shout out. Hmm. That's the first name? No, just 2020, so we, we already know what's up. Like, we've been doing our work already, and we've been, we've been exercising without some Moorish American travel documents. So who are you people? I don't care if Taj rides with you. Who are you? I don't care if Abdullah was at the meeting. I don't, I don't care if Jamal was there. Who, who are you? Like, who are you people? Well, you know, Brother Jamal, and, you know, he's a good brother, and he's working with us to the... But, but he left or whatever. Like, how come you're bringing him up as he's part of it, but he's not part of it, really? It's getting weird. But okay, let's just see how far this goes or whatever. So... How much you get these for? Because if you're doing it in China, if you're doing it in China, then you're probably getting them cheap. Because when we're trying to get fezzes, you can get fezzes for three notes if you buy 5,000 of them. So China said, oh yeah, we can do it. Oh yeah, we make those. 5,000. What do you mean 5,000? You have to buy 5,000. Okay, but I only want 500. No, you can't do 500. I have to buy 5,000. Okay, if I buy 5,000, how much is it? $3. 
So we already know how China does. We already know how China does. We know how they do. But we get it. You know what I mean? Serving is worthy of his hire and whatever like that. Okay, so let us know how much is the thing going to be. 70 notes. Well, you know, we pay, we pay 50 for a nationality card. 20 notes extra in order to get, you know, the stuff that they're going to recognize and whatever. I mean, that ain't, that ain't too bad. It's not bad. Get a tassel on it and whatever like that. But there's still this thing, like, how? where's Shayla Moore Bay? Well, you know, that's inside information, and, 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 you know, this is not about that. This is about the Moorish American travel document and Moors being able to travel internationally because, you know, Moors have been having a hard time with their nationality cards, and we got to find a better way to deal with the foreigners because, okay. And then, remember, this is 2020. But then, we see that they're talking crazy today now. Again, riding Taj Tariq Bay's Richard, why are they riding his Richard? Why? Why? These are these are the Moorish consular court people. Forget Moorish American travel document. These are the Moorish American consulate fraud people who stole everything from Great Seal. Started up some Moorish consular court BS, applied everything that they stole, and started saying that they're the man. And they haven't even been around since 2008. Because remember, this is your, what you're getting right now is my reasoning behind not supporting it, even though Taj Street Bay's face is on it. This is what all this whole thing is that we're talking about right now. This is my personal with them. Because we're always trying to find a way, because there's many ways to skin a cat, we're always trying to find a way to beat these colonists. Because they have the upper hand. So we need every little, every, every little cheap shot we could get in, we need to take every cheap shot. And it made sense, logically. If these people recognize passports, then have a Moorish passport. Right? Like, have a Moorish one. If that's what they want, or they, these people want insurance, have a Moorish insurance. These people want ID, have a Moorish ID. Just so that they'll accept it. Then we don't have to have any issues and we go and do whatever it is that we have to do. As a nation. But when you're affiliated. By name and principle. To people who we know. Had engagements with the FBI. We're questioning you. And anybody who's riding with you. And there's the countdown. So we have to deal with the second part. So we'll we'll be back. We'll definitely be back.